from beating the heat of the kitchen. It looks nice when they take it to the table. To running a restaurant during a public health crisis. Chef Mai Pham knows how to outlast difficult challenges. Stay focused and try to move on to the next day. If we sit and think about how terrible it's all been for us, then I don't think that we would ever be able to or have enough strength to survive. The founder of Lemongrass Restaurant in Sacramento rolling with the punches laid on by evolving public health guidelines. Forced to lay off staff and hit with a 40 percent drop in sales, Fom pulled seven day work weeks and applied for grants to keep business going. It was more survival oriented, not necessarily a new dish or new specials or anything like that or how to kind of expand margins. And a lot of times this last year it was strictly like treading water. Crediting the customers for making the necessary difference. Many came and at least once a week and kept buying gift certificates. And basically the message that we got was we want you to stay open. Not the case for nearly a third of California's restaurants, which closed permanently as the pandemic set in. I feel bad for business owners. Um, I really hope this is a lesson that we take to heart. And despite Governor Newsom's plans to fully reopen the state in June, FOM says there's still roadblocks ahead. I'm not sure that we will be able to go back to 100 percent because I don't know if we're able to staff the restaurant, you know, you know, like like the way we staffed it pre pre pandemic times. While demand for dine in service goes up. It's such a relief and it's so good to get back out again. There still aren't enough people applying to work and staff tell me that right now they're only operating Tuesdays through Saturdays from 3 to 8 p.m. because of how hard it's been to hire people. This will pass and we will overcome it. Seeing the glass half full as the state moves towards reopening.